What's up guys, it's Matt Johns Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we're talking about Power Automate on OneDrive for Business, and we're going to look at the Get File Metadata action. So this action allows you to get, get some really useful uh, information out of the files that you have in your OneDrive for Business. You could get things like the names, the paths, and all the sorts of stuff. So let's take a look at it today. So I'm in a OneDrive for Business uh, flow here in Power Automate. And I've got a trigger here, which is when a file is created. I'm going to ignore this trigger. I'm actually just going to trigger this manually. Uh, I'm going to go into my OneDrive for Business. Uh, I'll go into my search and type OneDrive for Business and OneDrive for Business, and then go down to get file metadata. At this point, we only have a single parameter. So where is this file? Now, on this action, I can actually use the, the show picker here. It does not work with the file path. That is a different action. So in this instance, we have to give it a, the user-friendly file path uh, name. So in this instance, I'm going to go down to my Power Automate folder here, and I'm going to go and have a look at my Quokka picture. So quokka.png. Um, and then I will test this out, and we'll see what data we get back. So I'll click Test. Uh, we'll choose a previously successful run test, just all we're doing is creating it. We're specifying in the, the, um, uh, the file, so it doesn't really matter. Open this and we can see. So we've got the ID of the file here, so not very user friendly, but that is the ID encoded for OneDrive Business. We have the user friendly name, Quokka. We've got the name without extension, which is Quokka. Uh, sorry, Quokka.png, which is the name. Name without extension is Quokka. We have the display name, so Quokka.png is what it's called in OneDrive Business. We have the path. So this path is the non user friendly one. So we've got the drives, we've got the uh, unique identifiers. We've got root, and then we've got the, the exact path at the end of this. We've got when this was last modified, so when we modified it, so it was modified um, a, about an hour ago, uh, about 10, 10, 15 minutes ago. Uh, we've got the size of the file. We've got the type, so it's an image or a PNG. We can also specify whether it's a folder. So we could actually say, is this a folder or not? And if it is, it will tell us that. We have an e-tag, which I'm not too sure what that is. Uh, we have a file locator, again, it's that file path, and we have who is last modified, which is myself. So it gives us a lot of handy information, and we can use this information for other things. So we could check to see whether, you know, have we just uploaded a folder? If we upload a folder, do nothing. If we upload a file, okay, let's do something with that file. We could check to see, right, okay, is this a, a PNG that we've got? So if, it's, if it contains PNG, then do this or do that. So this is actually really useful because it gives us some really handy information. But as always, I want to know what you guys use this for. So let me know in the comments down below what you're using this for at the moment or if you're going to use this in the future. If you like this video, if you could like and share it with your friends, that would be much appreciated. If you've not already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'll see you next time.